This video explains how to create a manual order in Profit Track. Most orders in your store would normally be created via PDE and uploaded to Profit Track. However, orders can also be created manually, usually some direct supply lines and fresh produce. To create a manual order, click Inventory, Order Management. The order management screen is displayed, listing any unfinalised orders. Click New and then select Manual Order. Select the supplier. And tick this Fill with Products box if you want to populate the order with all the products from this supplier. They will be entered into the order with a quantity of zero. Click Next. Change the description and delivery date if required and then click Create. Add products to the order by keying in the order code, F3 search and you can also load a PDE from here. Key in the product code here. The default quantity is normally one carton. Change if required. Press the down arrow or enter key to move to the next line. Click F3 Search to search for products. If you enter a product that is not linked to this supplier, then you will receive this error message. To remove a product from the order, key in the quantity as zero. ProfitTrack displays some very useful information to help with your ordering. Highlight the required product to see the details. Make sure to click in the white fields to select the product. The section up here in yellow shows how much stock on hand we have, plus any units on order to give us the total of potential on hand displayed in cartons and units. Here you can see if the product is on special, and this area shows the last 13 weeks average sales. To view more detailed information on products, Click on the Details tab. You can also click on the Sales History tab for detailed sales information. You can view day, week, month or yearly sales. When finished, go back to the Products tab. When all products have been entered, click Close to save and return to the Order Management screen. To run reports at this point, just select the order and then click Reports. These are the reports which can be run. Then press Cancel to exit out back to the order management screen. The final step is to finalise the order. Highlight the order and click Finalise. Click Yes to confirm. A supplier order will display for printing if this is configured at your store. Click Save and then Print if required. Click Close. This order can now be emailed or faxed to the supplier. Orders will be automatically sent if this supplier is set up for electronic invoicing. To view finalised orders, click on Show Finalised. Click Close to exit out of order management. Thank you for watching. If you require further assistance, please contact us at Independent Solutions.